All right, so a very nerve-wracking and fearful uh, press conference done by Trump, uh, which I found uh, from the Oregon, uh, Oregon, uh, or Oregonian. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't, uh, but it's a live feed. Uh, that was a live feed uh, uh, some hours back uh, uh, of Trump's press conference about uh, basically bringing the hammer down on uh, the protesters uh, in, in 140 cities and how he's basically uh, telling the governors and mayors to uh, use all necessary force and to uh, bring in the National Guard to uh, to bring uh, bring an end to the protests uh, and then he also stated that uh, if the mayors and governors won't do it then he is going to use use his executive order to uh, send the U.S. military and uh, in to uh, take care of it and take care of it brutally and quickly. That's basically uh, uh, in a, in a, in, a, in a nutshell what uh, Trump is doing. He's threatening to do that. Uh, uh, this is the same guy that. Uh, that, uh, you know, is supposed to be the President of the United States, and, uh, and, uh, we got the, you know, the attacks on China, uh, the vitriol against China, the vitriol against Venezuela, the vitriol against Cuba, the vitriol against Iran, the vitriol against Syria, you name it, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And, uh, and even though he's got uh, many nations basically saying, hey, uh, hello, uh, why are you, uh, why are you, uh, uh, you know, these, these are uh, from Western countries as well as the, uh, as well as the countries that, uh, the U.S. likes to uh, vilify and say they're uh, they're autocratic uh, authoritarian dictatorships uh, that they are the they are the enemy of humanity uh, and so on and so forth and so he's yet he he's calling for uh, he's calling for the uh, for basically what. We, uh, the U.S. accuses everybody else of doing, but uh, he's he's basically uh, saying he's going to do it, and this is not hyperbole. He says it. If you watch the uh, uh, press conference that Trump put out, there can be no if ands buts about it. And the thing is, is that you know China uh, put out uh, put out things like. Yeah, we're not sending uh, we're not sending our military in uh, to Hong Kong. Uh, so where do you go? Uh, where do you go, get off? Uh, uh, where do you get off uh, uh, saying that we're the uh, uh, oppressive uh, dictators and authoritarians when you are doing uh, when you are threatening to do the exact same thing that you accuse us of doing? And so, uh, but, you know, that was just some pushback from China. And China's completely right. Uh, and we have no business telling, what, uh, uh, telling China what to do. And the thing is, is if, you're, if you uh, are looking at it objectively and critically, you can see miles and miles of difference between what China is supposedly uh, doing in oppressing and and, and uh, authoritarian authoritarian dictatorships that uh, the West likes to accuse China of doing, 
the reality is that yes, they are doing some uh, taking some authoritative measures, but nowhere near the tyrannical uh, dictatorial uh, narrative that the West likes to uh, uh, to push, which includes uh, from uh, from Al Jazeera. Uh, and uh, DW and Sky and uh, BBC, uh, uh, France Twenty Four, uh, you, you name it, they're all they're all doing this, and so and you and you of of course you have uh, Rupert Murdoch uh, with uh, with. Uh, uh, with uh, Fox and Sky, which is theirs, uh, and you know the uh, the Daily Mail and the Daily whatever, and and uh, and you know uh, all sorts of others. Uh, so uh, the Murdoch uh, family is blatant, uh, outright. Uh, outrageous uh, uh, con artist, and they uh, and all they do is do propaganda for pillaging, plundering, uh, race, uh, uh, fomenting race, uh, race wars, uh, class wars, you name it, uh, they do it just like Breitbart does, just as as. Uh, 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 crap! I can't think of that uh, that it that idiot's name. Oh, Ben Shapiro. Um. Uh, you know. Uh, and and so many others. Uh, but you got MSNBC. Uh, you got CNN. All of them. NPR. Uh, PBS. You name it. The Atlantic. Uh. You name it, they're all they're all doing it. Uh, so uh, it's this should scare the ever living daylights out of everybody, because what basically what Trump is saying is, uh, I'm going to authorize the police and the military to use deadly force, and that is uh, that is going to have the opposite effect. Because what it's going to do is when the state does uh, initiates the violence like, like we've seen in so many of the pro protests all across the country where the police are the ones instigating it. And Jimmy Doe actually had, had a, a quick video that uh, was put out where a, uh, where a, uh, uh, this, uh, family was watching the news. I think it was CNN or something like that, and they were actually uh, they actually captured it, uh, and they were showing how uh, uh, what most likely are uh, either the right wing instigators or the actual police uh, in uh, civilian clothing. Uh, Instigating violence by like uh, coming up behind protesters and pushing them into the uh, into the police, and uh, and you know uh, you also see uh, you know there's uh, another one from uh, from Minnesota Minneapolis where there's a uh, there's a guy uh, there's a guy with a full gas mask, he's carrying an umbrella, he's wearing a black hoodie. And jeans, and he's uh, he's caught by protesters doing the uh, doing the uh, so-called property damage and looting that the protesters are uh, are the ones who are being the violent looting and and pillaging and plundering, uh, which is uh, which is not to say that there aren't some because there are some opportunists, but the vast majority. The overwhelming vast majority aren't doing that. What they are doing, uh, uh, getting done to them, is having the police come up and and beat them with their batons, or th uh, throw them into uh, in, 
uh, come up behind them and, and toss them into, uh, in, into the cop vehicle and knocking them out or pushing, uh, or pushing a, uh, 100 pound girl, uh, into the, uh, into the concrete, uh, concrete on the sidewalk, uh, causing a concussion or, uh, coming up and cold cocking a woman, uh, uh, from behind, knocking her out. Uh, there's just, it, 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 and there's just too much, uh, too much overt evidence. Uh, those are just a few of the things. And so if Trump thinks uh, coming in and sending in the military will uh, will dissipate, and so on and so forth, he's, de he's dead wrong. He is absolutely and utterly dead wrong. And the fact that we don't have uh, Congress uh, from Washington uh, uh, coming out, and saying, hell, hell no. Uh, and the fact that we have uh, media that keeps on calling it riots, that keeps on call, uh, saying that, uh, uh, insinuating that looters, uh, the protesters are looters and, uh, and vandals and, 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 uh, and criminals and so on and so forth. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, it's it's goes to show who the real criminals are, who the ones are wanting to uh, have the violence. And the thing is, is the old saying is, when everything looks like a nail, and you only and the only tool is a is a hammer. Well, guess what? It's going to be a bloodbath. I guarantee it. It's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be start, started by the state, which is the government, uh, and the jackbooted thugs, uh, these brown shirts, uh, these brown shirts uh, that happened uh, during the days of uh, after the uh, after the uh, after the uh, slaves uh, because of uh, uh, slaves escaping or running. And so on and so forth to the Pinkertons who carried on that same, same thing, which is the same thing that happened in Nazi Germany, and they were also brown shirts. Who were going, uh, who were going around uh, uh, terrorizing uh, the people and and especially the Jews. Uh, so uh, this is what Trump is proposing. This is what Trump. Uh, and the and the West likes to say, you know, Hitler and and Stalin and and Mao and all these others. Uh, they like to uh, they like to uh, they like to uh, make it sound like that they're not like except uh, they uh, that uh, the uh, the U.S. political system has always done this. Has always done this, and it's baked in with uh, racism. Uh, it's baked in with uh, elitism. It is baked in with classism, and classism and elitism is the foundation for why they use race, why they disenfranchise, why they do that, and it. And as I've been saying in my videos, it always. All these policies and everything else, it doesn't matter when it comes uh, it comes down to the end because the classist elites will do what they uh, what they want to do to uh, enrich the other uh, other elitists and themselves, and it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is or the shape of your eye or anything else like that. Or what religion uh, you ascribe to, they will protect themselves and enrich themselves. They will pillage and plunder. And those laws that the right 
and the liberal, uh, closet liberals, uh, racists, will have it turned up against, turned against them, because it always happens, always, and the evidence is clear and in your face with the looting, with the uh, with the mass evictions that was uh, five million back in uh, after the two thousand and eight crash and uh and and has been steadily going on till now uh where uh with the corona and economic it's going to just uh, explode and we won't have five uh we'll find out that they'll it'll be in the tens of millions and 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 race has nothing to do with it absolutely nothing and we know because uh we uh, a growing number, which is uh, astronomical. Uh, uh, people uh, live, uh, they can't even do a $400 emergency. Uh, the uh, rents and property and mortgage has just gotten stupidly, insanely high, uh, where the cost of our food and our basic needs have... Uh, have skyrocketed beyond any sane levels to the point of utter insanity. So all of these are factors. The looting. Four times, now they're talking about a fifth one, four times where they were looting the treasury, the public treasury, uh, in the trillions going to the to the elites this is it, it's daylight blatant robbery and that also contributes because all of it contributes more and more of what little we make and what little we have they're trying to take. And they've been succeeding in taking. And why? Because we have not risen up. We have not risen up. We have not uh, uh, collectively gone out in mass and put the fear of life into them. The eminent the fear of life and the ending of their lives. We have not come out with an ultimatum saying, you will go, you will uh, get out, and you will uh, and you will find some deep dark, dark hole and, and uh, bury yourself in, in there and never show, uh, come out uh, into the light of day, or you will uh, or you will be uh, strung up. That is the mentality we should have. That is collective patriotism. That is collective self-interest. That is collective self-enlightenment. Without that, we will have the civil war that Trump wants and the right wants. And, so, and many of those liberals want. We will have it. And it will be a bloodbath. And it will be started by those who want civil war. And a blood running through our streets. And mark me. Ultimately, they will lose. But at the cost of hundreds of thousands, if not millions... And where will be where will be the economic security? In that, there is none. There is will be no safety. There will be no freedom. There will be nothing, because it's all been an illusion. It's time to nut up and say, "I value. 
I value myself and I value the community that makes up the country and that includes everybody in the country. It means understanding what common natural law is and saying I value common natural law and not the dictatorial tyranny of the few who make the rules and who can exempt the rules for themselves because that's what it's coming down to and if you don't wake up now then and you don't stand up for the protesters and you don't become part of the protest that gives an ultimatum and puts the fear then we will collectively go down until we are forced to understand what is right and what is right in front of our faces. I've been saying this for a long, 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 long time. And it's time that people really start to pay attention. 